American Top 40. Ah, we've entered the heights of chart delight on American Top 40. I'm Shadow Stevens, scaling top 10 territory in the Billboard musical Mountain. And here's the story of the group who grew up together, playing and singing as long as they can remember, but never really thought about recording together until very recently. It's the story of Wilson Phillips. Well, as most everyone's heard by now, the group's members are Carney and Wendy Wilson, the daughters of Beach Boy Brian Wilson, and China Phillips, the daughter of John and Michelle Phillips from the 1960s group The Mamas and the Papas. Well, the girls have been singing together practically since they learned to talk. And Wendy told us all about it. Ever since we were like four till up to about 12 years old, maybe, I guess, we would always just sing to like records and tapes and be like, perform our own group called The Satellites and just sing together and perform on the fireplace mantle for anyone who came over. <laughs> but Wendy, Carney, and China didn't really take it seriously. They didn't know what they had until a few years ago. Carney explains. Well, what happened was we had all had this idea about getting the 60s kids together to form not so much a group, but just to get together to write a song where all of the money would go to like um, an anti-drug association or something for AIDS. And we were going to get a few people together like Donovan's kid Donovan and Moon Zappa and um, Dweezil and ourselves. But that never happened. It never went through, and, you know, other people were busy, so we couldn't get ourselves all together at the same place at the same time. So what happened was Carney and Wendy and I decided to just get together and sing together and, you know, and see what happened. And when we started singing, our voices had really matured, and we heard this really nice blend between the three of us, and we said, wow, why don't we form our own group? And then we took it one step further than that, and we got somebody to produce us. Then we got a record deal about three years later. And now about 20 years after they started singing together as tuneful toddlers, they have their first hit and four weeks ago it went to number one. Hi, it's Carney and Wendy and China from, from Wilson, Wilson Phillips. Phillips. And, and there's, there's more American, American Top 40 to come as the shadow counts them down. The hit. The hit from Coast to Coast. Hi, this is Wilson Phillips. Have you wondered how you can get in touch with American Top 40? Well, we'll have that AT40 address coming up. Pepsi makes it rock! Hi, this is Wilson Phillips. And here's that AT40 address for questions about the charts or long distance dedications. You can write to Shadow Stevens, American Top 40, Post Office Box 2000, Hollywood, California, 90028, USA. That's Box 2000, Hollywood, California, 90028. And, and now, now back, back to Shadow, Counting Down. Hi, Shadow Stevens, AT40. First, they hit number one earlier this year with Hold On. And then just last week, they returned to the top of the official Billboard chart with the follow-up, Release Me. That made Wilson Phillips the first female group ever to hit number one with their first two single releases. Join me for chart history that writes itself every week right here on American Top 40. <laughs> Billboard's Biggest Hits! You're tuned to American Top 40, Shadow Stevens. We're up to the trio who won a music award over in Japan, and it was presented to them by a man who's known them since they were very little girls. The trio is Wilson Phillips, and the man who presented them with the award knows their fathers very well. In the 1960s, he co-wrote songs for the Beach Boys with Carney and Wendy Wilson's father, Brian Wilson. And just a couple of years ago, he co-wrote the Beach Boys' number one comeback hit, Kokomo, with the father of China Phillips, John Phillips. He's Beach Boy lead singer, Mike Love. I was in Japan just uh, uh, a while back at the Tokyo Music Festival, which was held June 1st. And, and Wilson Phillips was there, and they actually won the grand prize which over there is called the Grand Prix. So it was quite an interesting thing. I opened the piece of paper that, that had the winner in it. And giving these girls uh, an award, which is well-deserved for a great song that they did, and the kids that you'd seen around when they were little babies, you know. So it was very, very strange. But it was a good strange. Wilson Phillips are in the countdown with a follow-up to their award-winning number one song, Hold On, and this week, that song makes the top ten at number six on American Top 40. Here's Release Me. And now we're up to this week's number one. 
And it's by a group who grew up together and used to entertain their parents and their parents' friends. Friends like Mick Jagger, Dylan, Donovan, and cousins like Mike Love and uncles Carl and Dennis Wilson. That's what life at home was like for these three women. Their families were, and still are, very close. They virtually grew up together, surrounded by music. And it definitely had an effect. Ever since we were like four, up to about 12 years old, maybe, I guess, we would always just sing to, like, um, records and tapes and perform our own group called The Satellites and just sing together and perform on the fireplace mantle for anyone who came over. <laughs> we were hams, yeah. Well, we, we like to put on skits and perform, you know. We like to sing together and dance together. And write plays and charge our parents $20 a ticket <laughs> and have them come to watch us do shows. Maybe it was more like $2. <laughs> For a second week in a row, the number one song in the USA is by Carney and Wendy Wilson and China Phillips. Wilson Phillips, release me. I'm trying to make you see that baby you just got to release me. The hits with the shadow. I'm Shadow Stevens. What if a little girl invited a pop music legend to her birthday party? Would he show up? What if that little girl grew up in a showbiz family? Would that tend to better the chances? 1840 talked to Carney Wilson of Wilson Phillips about growing up surrounded by stars who just happened to be friends of her dad, Beach Boy, Brian Wilson. We were always busy just going, doing normal things, going to school. We had a basically normal childhood, other than that, other than the fact that there were a lot of people coming in and out of the house just because of the nature of the business. I mean, other than when Elton John sent me flowers because he couldn't come to my birthday party, then I knew because I really was a fan of his. I invited him to my seventh birthday party because my parents were friends with him, and um, he couldn't attend, so he wrote a note to me saying that maybe we'd have tea one day. It was really nice with a big bouquet of flowers. That's Carney Wilson's story of Elton John and her birthday. Wilson Phillips' recent number one is at number nine this week. This is You're in Love. Casey's time. Well, now we're up to the latest smash for Wilson Phillips, a group who may hold the record for the most thank yous on a major album. You've probably noticed that towards the end of the liner notes, most albums feature a section of thank yous, acknowledgments of the contributions many people have made toward the making of the songs. Usually there are tips of the hat to the producer and the songwriters, managers, musicians, and so forth, along with special thanks to parents and friends and often to God as well. As a rule, these acknowledgments might add up to a few dozen. And the number of thank yous on an album isn't something we regularly keep track of. But we can't remember ever coming across a major album that thanked as many people as the album Wilson Phillips. The thank yous begin with a series of thank yous from all three girls together. Then that's followed with thanks from each of them separately. And we don't just mean that they list a lot of names under the heading of thank yous to the following. Oh, no. Each of the thank yous is a very personal one. Like the thank you that Wendy Wilson sends to her Grandma May and Grandpa Irv. For them, she writes, quote, You are the two sweetest and cutest people in the world. Thanks for all the love and happiness you've given to me. I love you both very much. There are thank you notes to more than 120 different people on the Wilson Phillips album. And at the end, there's a note reading, Thank you, God, for giving us each other. This week, the trio Wilson Phillips has a lot to be thankful for because the fifth Top 40 hit from their multi-platinum album is survey song number 12 on Casey's Top 40. The dream is still alive. Casey's Top 40. I'm Casey Kasem. Radio plays them, radio and records ranks them, and we count them down on Casey's Top 40. Well, now we're up to the latest hit for Wilson Phillips featuring crime fighter Carney Wilson. One night early this year, Carney dined at one of Hollywood's fanciest restaurants, Cabrea on Chic La Brea Avenue. After a sumptuous meal of house specialties like pasta with fresh vegetables, Carney walked out to the curb. She had handed her parking ticket to a valet and was waiting for her car. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, a man yanked the purse from her shoulder and ran off into the night. Did Carney freeze in her tracks? Did she melt with fear? No way. Using every ounce of her awesome vocal power, Carney Wilson screamed, Stop! at the top of her lungs. And with quick-thinking Carney's encouragement, the parking attendants raced off into the night in hot pursuit. It was a real-life crime drama on the streets of Hollywood. As the thief tore down the sidewalk, fashionably dressed strollers jumped out of the way, only to have to jump out of the way again as the parking attendants raced by. In the end, the person snatcher got away. 
but not Carney's purse. The thief dropped it, and it was returned by the parking attendants with nothing missing. Carney was so grateful, she rewarded them with a big thank you and a huge tip. You see, not only was she glad to get her purse back, she was thrilled she wouldn't have to stand in line at the DMV for a new driver's license. This week, the singer who helped take a bite out of crime outside a Hollywood restaurant soars nine notches to number 29 on Casey's Top 40. Here's Connie Wilson, along with her sister Wendy and China Phillips. They're the trio Wilson Phillips with Give It Up. Casey's Coast to Coast. 